Es ist ein Rose entsprungen, lit. A rose has sprung up, is a Christmas carol and Marian hymn of German origin. It is most commonly translated in English as, Lo, how a rose air blooming, and is sometimes known as, A spotless rose. The rose in the text is a symbolic reference to the Virgin Mary, and the hymn makes reference to the Old Testament prophecies of Isaiah which in Christian interpretation foretell the incarnation of Christ, and to the tree of Jesse, a traditional symbol of the lineage of Jesus. Because of its prophetic theme, the song is popular during the Christian season of Advent. The hymn has its roots in an unknown author prior to the 17th century. It first appeared in print in 1599 and has since been published with a varying number of verses and in several different translations. It is most commonly sung to a melody which was harmonized by the German composer Michael Pretorius in 1609. The song S popularity endures today. It has been recorded by modern artists such as Mannheim Steamroller and Sting, and it has appeared in a variety of feature film soundtracks, including Love Story (1970) and The Time Traveler. S Wife (2009). Topic Meaning. Topic. The hymn was originally written with two verses, which express the fulfillment of the prophecy of Isaiah, foretelling the birth of Jesus. It emphasizes the royal genealogy of Jesus and Christian messianic prophecies. The first verse describes a rose sprouting from the stem of the tree of Jesse, a symbolic device that depicts the descent of Jesus from Jesse of Bethlehem, the father of King David. The image was especially popular in medieval times and it features in many works of religious art from the period. It has its origin in the book of Isaiah. And there shall come forth a rod out of the stem of Jesse, and a branch shall grow out of his roots. The second verse of the hymns, written in the first person, then explains to the listener the meaning of this symbolism that Mary, the mother of Jesus, is the rose that has sprung up to bring forth a child, who is represented as a small flower. Das Blumlein. The text affirms that Mary is a pure maiden. Die Rain Magd emphasizing the doctrine of the virgin birth of Jesus. Since the 19th century other verses have been added, in German and in translation. History The poetry of Isaiah's prophecy has featured in Christian hymns since at least the 8th century, when Cosmas the Melodist wrote a hymn about the Virgin Mary flowering from the root of Jesse translated in 1862 by John Mason Neal as, "'Rod of the Root of Jesse". The text of the German hymn, S East ein Rose Entsprungen", dates from the 15th century and is by an anonymous author. Its earliest source is in a manuscript from the Carthusian Monastery of St. Alban at Trier, Germany—now preserved in the Trier City Library—and it is thought to have been in use at the time of Martin Luther. The hymn first appeared in print in the late 16th century in the Speyer Hymnbook The hymn has been used by both Catholics and Protestants, with the focus of the song being Mary or Jesus, respectively. In addition, there have been numerous versions of the hymn, with varying texts and lengths. In 1844, the German hymnologist Friedrich Leiras added three more stanzas, the first of which, Das Blumelein so kleine remained popular and has been included in Catholic and Protestant hymnals during the Nazi era many German Christmas carols were rewritten to promote national socialist ideology and to excise references to the Jewish origins of Jesus during Christmas in Nazi Germany s east ein Rose entsprungen was rewritten as uns east ein Licht erstanden in einer dunklen Winternacht a light has arisen for us on a dark winter night with a secularized text evoking sunlight falling on the fatherland and extolling the virtues of motherhood. Musical compositions The tune most familiar today originally appeared in the Speyer Hymnal printed in Cologne in 1599, and the familiar harmonization was written by German composer Michael Pretorius in 1609. A canon version for four voices also exists, based on Pretorius's harmony and sometimes attributed to his contemporary, Melchior Vulpius. The meter of the hymn is 76.76.676. Later works 
in 1896, Johannes Brahms used the tune as the base for a chorale prelude for organ, one of his eleven chorale preludes Opus 122, later transcribed for orchestra by Erich Leinsdorf. In the modern era, the melody has been used by a number of composers, including Hugo Distler, who used it as the base for his 1933 Oratorio die Weihnachtsgeschichte. The Christmas Story. Arnold Schoenberg's Weihnachtsmusik for two violins, cello, piano and harmonium is a short fantasy on S. East ein Ross Entsprungen with Stille Nacht as a contrapuntal melody. In 1990, Jan Sandström wrote S. East ein Ross Entsprungen for two a cappella choirs, which incorporates the setting of Pretorius in Choir 1. Well-known versions of the hymn have been published in various English translations. Theodore Baker's Low, How a Rose E. Er Blooming was written in 1894 and appears in the Psalter Hymnal, Christian Reformed Church in North America, and the United Methodist Hymnal, American United Methodist Church. The British hymn translator Catherine Winkworth translated the first two verses of the hymn as "A Spotless Rose," and in 1919, the British composer Herbert Howells set this text as an SATB anthem. Considered to be one of Howells's most well-known works, A Spotless Rose is noted for its skillful use of harmony. Winkworth's translation was again set to music in 2002 by the British composer and academic Sir Philip Ledger. Another Christmas hymn, A Great and Mighty Wonder, is set to the same tune as this carol and may sometimes be confused with it. It is, however, a hymn by Saint Germanus, Mega Chi Paradoxon Thama translated from Greek to English by John M. Neal in 1862. Versions of the German lyrics have been mixed with Neal's translation of a Greek hymn in subsequent versions such as Percy Dearmer's version in the 1931 Songs of Praise Collection and Carols for Choirs Lyrics. <laughs> <laughs> Topic. In popular culture. Topic. Topic. Modern interpretations. Topic. Chorale prelude on S. East Ein Rose by contemporary composer Jonathan Santori, 1987. Some notable performances by contemporary popular artists include Topic in film Topic in the opening scene of the 2009 film The Time Traveler's Wife, the protagonist, Henry de Tamble, as a six-year-old child, is traveling in a car with his mother, an opera singer, who sings to him, S. East ein Rose Entsprungen. It is a constant theme throughout the movie. The song is also released with the official soundtrack. Topic See also Topic S East Ein Rose Entsprungen Sandstrom Topic References Topic Topic External links Topic. List of all verses in German, from the hymns and carols of Christmas Free sheet music of Lo, How a Rose Air Blooming, for SATB, Cantorian.org. S. East ein Rose Entsprungen. Pretorius, scores at the International Music Score Library Project IMSLP, IMSLP. Eleven Chorale Preludes, Op. 122 Brahms, No. 8. S. East Ein Rose Entsprungen, IMSLP S. East Ein Rose Entsprungen, Melchior Vulpius IMSLP MP3 of Sissel Shirashiba singing at a 2005 Christmas concert in Moscow, Internet Archive